What's going on guys? I hope everyone is having a great start to 2023. Today I just wanted to make a really quick video about a neat application that I just discovered that I thought was amazing and I really wanted to share it with you guys because I think a lot of you guys probably have a use case for this particular kind of application. So this application is called Magnus. So let me launch Magnus here if I can spell it correctly. Now Magnus is just this window, right? So but look what happens when I move my cursor off the window. Can you see what Magnus is doing? It is magnifying that particular area and I could resize the window so it's bigger I could also zoom in right now it's set to 2x but you can go 3x 4x or even 5x let's try 5x you know I can really zoom in on something on the desktop and that is really really neat and you know this is kind of a a, a cool program especially for those of us that make video content sometimes we're wanting to zoom in to certain things that you know like my text editors and terminal emulators I can always zoom the text in and out in those applications but some applications you really can't zoom in and out for example Xmobar I can't change the size of anything on my Xmobar to show you you know some of this small text but now I can just zoom I can just put my mouse and actually show you all the little widgets in Xmobar. And that's really cool. So for content creators, this program Magnus, I think, is a fascinating tool. I think a lot of people that do any kind of recording or streaming of their desktop, anybody that does presentations that involve stuff on a actual desktop, or possibly for even those that maybe have some accessibility issues, uh, you got some uh, vision problems maybe you want to to zoom in on certain things because of certain applications they are hard coded in such a way that some of the details of that application whether it be text or buttons or things are really small and sometimes it's just handy to if you had this particular application magnus hotkey you know you can just quickly pull it up and actually zoom in on a particular area to better visualize what's going on in that application. For those of you that want to install Magnus on Arch or any Arch Linux base distribution, you will find Magnus in the AUR. It's not in the standard repos, but it is in the Arch user repository, the AUR. So just install it using an AUR helper like Paru or Yay. Uh, for those of you that are not on Arch Linux, uh, Magnus may be in your repositories. I think it is in the repositories on Debian, but I could be wrong on that. Uh, if it's not, if you have Snap available, you could Snap install Magnus, and I believe Magnus is available as a Snap package. And it says Magnus has been installed as a Snap. Let's see if I can launch it. Uh, well, because I've got it also installed from the AUR. Snap list. Here is Magnus. Can I do a snap run Magnus? So let's make sure that the snap version works. And snap version actually does work. Now one minor glitch with the, the snap version is the title of the window. This is actually the word Magnus. It's three letters, right? For whatever reason, I guess whatever font is trying to use uh, maybe the font family is hard-coded or something and, and for whatever reason it can't display the title of the window that's no big deal I mean it doesn't affect the functionality I mean it works but the menu system 2x 3x 4x 5x also does not show up although I mean you could figure out which one is 2 3 4 and 5 in the menu so if you had to install it as a snap it does work although that probably needs to be reported as a bug to whoever's maintaining the snap package for Magnus because they need to correct that little bit of a font issue now one minor annoyance with Magnus I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a bug it probably is a design choice but if I launch Magnus here and I'm running HTOP of course HTOP is a dynamic thing right it's gonna constantly be changing values right but Magnus does not right if I let me make sure that this window you guys can see it right the CPU loads you see the percentages never change as soon as my mouse hovered over HTOP it just freezes that image right that zoomed image even though HTOP would constantly be changing values right but if I move you know it will actually update those values so that is something 
to be aware of that uh, anytime you move the mouse, it'll refresh the frame. But if you don't move the mouse, it's just going to have that image frozen at when you first put the mouse on that position. So there you go, a very quick video today about a really simple tool, but it's one that solves a problem. I had been looking for some kind of magnifying tool or a zoom tool where I could zoom in on certain aspects of my desktop when I'm recording a video. And when I was searching around, there's not a lot of these things available on Linux. Really, Magnus was pretty much the only one I found. And I was actually surprised. I was blown away when I used it. What a neat tool. I can't believe I had never heard of this before as long as I've been using Linux. And I wanted to share it with you guys, hence today's video. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. James, Maxim, Matt, Mimic, Mitchell, Paul, Royal West, Armor Dragon, Bash Potato, Chuck, Commander Angry, George, Lee, Methos, Nate, Erion, Paul, Peace Arch and Fedora, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Tools, Devler, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at the Magnus magnifying tool would not have been possible. The show's also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing right now on the screen, these are all my support over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my videos and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source tools like Magnus, support me. Subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys. I should have checked to see if Magnus was available as a flat pack or app image.